Okay, so with the uh, brand new uh, firmware release for the Autel Nano Plus, and it being a quite windy day, I decided to be a great chance to come out and uh, test it. The current wind speeds are a sustained 8 meters per second, with gusts up to 18 meters per second. Um, you can see the flag there, give you an idea of uh, what the wind is doing. So I've got uh, both uh, both drones are in the air. Uh, both are on uh, sport mode and ludicrous mode uh, for the Nano Plus. And uh, let's see how they handle. I am going to be holding the uh, in my hand during this test, uh, simply because the drone is doing a couple of kind of things uh, that you'll see in the video, and I may need to take control of it. Where I'm fairly confident that the Mini 2 will hold its own without uh, direct intervention. So uh, let's take a look at what it's doing. Okay, as you can see with uh, no input from the sticks, the uh, Nano will rise and fall um, anywhere from one to five feet, whereas the Nano uh, holds its position uh, fairly well. Uh, you'll also see that the, the Nano does struggle with uh, holding its uh, horizontal position in space, where we're not quite seeing that with, uh, with the Nano, or sorry, with the uh, Mini. I'm going to move it a little bit closer. Now you can see the, uh, the DJI remote is on the picnic table there. The Nano is uh, rising and falling without any stick input. Right now it's not doing it as severe as the first flight, but uh, it is happening nonetheless. Oh, see, it's, it's now down about uh, three feet, and it looks like it's going to, looks like it, oh, no, it's coming back up. Good gust. You can see the nano is draw is lowering on its own. It's almost landing. You have to intervene and put it up a bit. So that was uh, a, my stick input that raised the Nano back up. It was about to hit the snow. It was probably about uh, 12 to 14 inches uh, off the ground before I intervened, which is about a five foot uh, drift uh, on the vertical uh, line. 